How can I explain a problem without finger pointing? I try to avoid all kinds of everyday life arguings, but sometimes I just want an explanation for minor problems. Why are you late? And you know where we keep documents. Why put it in a different locker? Should have responses like, sorry, I got into traffic. Or, ha ha, I didn't realize I did that. That's how I see and do things. Instead, I get, why are you blaming me? I hurry so much and you give me this treatment. Blah blah. My significant other gets in such a defensive position, and he doesn't realize he makes me feel really bad, like I don't deserve to receive an explanation for anything. And this doesn't happen often. I let myself be blaming, like once a month or even more rare. How should I put out this kind of question, without blaming directly? My significant other is actually a very kind, good person, always treating me nice and loving, but when it gets to blame he just can't cope with it. He doesn't like admitting he made a mistake. The process is very painful all the time. I want to make it easier for both of us, but I don't know how. I ask these questions because otherwise I would feel grumpy, because, let's take the example with the waiting. Waiting is annoying. The person shows no concern for wasting my time. Personally, I like being asked such questions, because it gives me the opportunity to explain myself, not just face this grumpy person, without knowing what's going on. In both of your examples, you ask your partner why they did a thing. This is not explaining a problem at all. It's announcing a problem and demanding they justify or explain what they did. I am not sure that's helpful. Perhaps knowing why would help, if there was a good reason. Perhaps it would not. The thing about questions is it really gives people a sense of pressure to answer the question. And if you don't really want the answer, then the pressure upsets people. So, take a moment and think about what you're feeling and what you want to say. For example, these are not the same. I was worried about you when you didn't arrive by 9. Is everything okay? When you are routinely late most times we are supposed to meet, I feel like you don't mind that I am waiting for you and feeling worried. This was a very important meeting and I was embarrassed that you were late. It feels as though it wasn't as important to you. Or for the papers, I finally found the dentist receipts. It took forever because I was looking in the receipt place. They were in the kitchen drawer. What happened there? When you just put papers wherever you feel like and I spend time looking for them, I feel you don't value my time and can just leave the work to me. We agreed where to keep these things. These examples have more context, are you discussing just this time, or a pattern? They include details about why you care where the papers are or why your partner was late. And they don't always ask a question. They start a conversation about the thing you want to discuss. They don't start with blame, well, some of them come close, and they don't make the partner guess what your issue is. If you want to have a conversation about these things, phrasing like this helps that happen.